Yo, what's up everybody, my name is Sebastian and today I'm gonna show you how to download and install my free DaVinci Resolve Fusion templates. So with that being said, let's jump right into DaVinci Resolve and show you what they look like. So this is one of the templates and there's another one coming. This is the second one. If you want to know how to install them and how to maybe customize them, stay tuned because I'll explain this later on. Now I'll just explain how to download this. Go to the link in the description, copy it, paste it in Google, and then you come to my Google Drive. You select all the files in there, go to download. If your download's ready, just open up the download folder and unzip the files there. Select all of those five and paste it on your desktop. Then you create a new folder, name it Parallax or whatever you want, slideshow, I don't know. Drag them in this folder and cut this folder. After we've done that, go to your explorer, open up C hard drive. Go to programs, go to Blackmagic Design, go to DaVinci Resolve, go to Fusion, go to templates, go to Fusion again and then paste the folder. I've already got this folder in there so this is where the notification comes up. So next step is we're opening up DaVinci Resolve and create a new project. You just name the project whatever you want. This doesn't matter at all. I've named this Parallax Test. So if you've opened up uh, the new project, then go to Project Settings and change the timeline frame rate to 30 and hit Save. If you've done that, just select your media that you want to have in this clip. This works with uh, photos or any clip that you want. Just drag it in there and then go to the edit page. In the edit page just select your media and drag it on the timeline. If you've done that, just select those four nodes and drag the picture so that it fits the whole frame. If you've done that, right click the clip and check new fusion clip. So if you've done that, then just go in the fusion page and right click, arrange tools to grid and deselect the media in from the media out. After that, you go to effects library, open up templates and then you open up the folder that you've just pasted in and drag and drop the one you like. If you've done that, all you gotta do is connect the media in to the transform node and connect the render 3D node to the media out node. If you've done that, go back to the edit page and watch what this looks like. So this is what we've created now. Pretty basic, pretty simple with the text, but you can fully customize the text. Go back to the fusion page, hit the text node and type in whatever text you want. Maybe your channel name or whatever for whatever you're doing this video. If you've done that and still are not satisfied, well, what about if I tell you how to put your logo in there? Maybe you want this, maybe you want to use this as an intro, so this would look pretty cool. So let's show you how to put your logo in there instead of the text.
just uh, just deselect the text node or delete it doesn't matter what you want I just deselected it and dragged it down so then just go back to the media pool select your logo and drag it in with your logo selected hit the transform node and create a transform node with the transform node we gotta resize our logo because it would just be too big so this is right where I want it to be after that we gotta rearrange the media in two and the transform node so that the transform node is on the left side and the media end is on the right side when you've done that just connect the shape 3d to the transform node and click on media out select two on your keyboard and boom you get your logo there so let's watch how this looks well this looks way better now and now i'm gonna tell you how to customize this even more within those groups at the bottom are all those polygon nodes so just double click the group click the polygon node and it basically shows you which cut in the image this is let's say we want to add a new group and another cut just select the group 4 hit ctrl c on your keyboard hit ctrl v to paste it go to the shape 3d node copy it and paste it again so let's rearrange them go to the group node and select the yellow dot put it to the transform node if you've done that hold alt on your keyboard and click the line that you've just created so now let's connect the group node to the shape node and the shape node to the merge 3d node and if you've done that just go back to the group node double click it check the polygon node and just rearrange the polygon node as you wish so i like mine like this What we have to do now is check fit again go to the shape node go to transform and go to set offset and type in 23 this is because all those shape nodes are in steps of five in offset so if we've done 23 go down to scale and scale it so that it fits the the image You can just do this if you put the slider left and right and you see where it fits the image yeah like this so that my arm is fitting to the rest of my arm which is not in that image so now go back hit play boom that's it it's pretty simple you can customize like every single one of those templates um yeah that's it I hope you liked the video, I hope you enjoyed it and if you've gotten value out of it please hit the like button so more people like you who are also searching for free templates can see this and I would really much appreciate if you hit the subscribe button as well. So with that being said that's it for this video guys, I hope to see you in the next one, bye.